Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to the adventure. Today it is time to play a little bit more XCOM 2. So as you may be aware, I've been playing this game a lot. I've been playing this quite a lot on the live stream as well. Not nearly as much as I sort of had the craving for, so I figured why not just throw a little bit of gameplay on the YouTubes as well while we are at it. So last time I played this game, we actually didn't have nearly this much progress yet. As you may have noticed right off the get-go, uh, we got a whole lot of different rooms right now that were added in there. Um, I believe I had um, the Advanced Warfare Center and the Guerrilla Tactics School last time around, as well as the Power Relay, but the Resistance Comps I did not have yet. I did not have a Defense Matrix. I also did not have the Proving Grounds. Now, I have continued, though, in the story quite a lot, and my soldiers got significantly stronger. If you have a quick look at them, I mean, well, we don't want to have a look at the memorial. That's a sad place. That is a really sad place. But currently, uh, my soldiers got improved a lot. They're still all wearing fedoras. Which is one of the, you know, essentials for joining the local TV clan. Um, <laughs> but um, it's 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 pretty cool, man. Like, these guys are extremely powerful right now. I got a couple of captains in there. Uh, they've been improving a lot. Look at Kisses with its magnificent pink beard. Looks beautiful. But in general, I've been upgrading their gear. I've been upgrading their weapons. And I've just been making progress. Now, one of the downsides, though, and one of the things that we do have to work on at least for a little bit, is the current, like, status of the Avatar project. As you may be aware... Once the aliens manage to fill up the Avatar Project squares all the way up to the final one, the dark events will basically make it so that the humans are, are all going to be gone. So we need to try and prevent that from happening. So currently we are in a place where we have a couple of different missions available. Um, there are some alien alloys around. We can make contact with West Africa, which actually does take, um, you know, if you do the mission right there, we do get rid of two of those squares. Um, there's also a supply drop over in Europe, which I did make contact with just now. Uh, there's a bunch of black markets and whatnot, but the main thing that we have to worry about for the moment is not losing this area right here and getting rid of this supply rate that is currently happening in New Mexico. So let's have a quick look. Advent is moving valuable alien technology across New Mexico. If we strike quickly, we can recover the alien tech for our own purposes. So the objective here is to raid the Advent troop transport. Now this mission is pretty cool, um, at least I'm assuming so, because we get a bunch of resources that we can then, you know, obviously spend on getting a bigger force out. Now last time that I also recorded a video, I was only able to take four of my soldiers onto a mission, but right now we can actually take six of them. So you can see all of these guys are way Way more powerful than we had last time around but this is a mission that is considered very difficult and i've only played a very limited amount of those now i just want to quickly double check here if there's any more items that i can currently afford now i can't quite get the advanced grenade launcher yet because i simply don't have the resources to do so um one of the things that we have changed primarily and one of the things that has made my soldiers way stronger is the um the fact that they now have a um, better set of armor and the better set of armor doesn't just allow them to you know withstand more hits They don't just get more hit points, but they can also carry one more item So I've actually got a smoke grenade right here on uh, sergeant locopian aka the specialist the healer of the team um, I want to check real quick. Yeah, I do still have one nano skill fest available So I'll give that to sergeant Motlesis as well. They all got nicknames as well But I think it is time to simply go ahead and launch this mission. So the setup that we got right now um, I got one ranger here that's going to be the front line of the team. Then I also have one grenadier in here that is also going to be helping out the bunch. Then we have two sharpshooters. Two of the guys that are going to be a bit of a distance, ideally on like a high ground. That will try and, you know, basically ensure to get as many hits as possible. Especially, um, especially Flacidity has been hitting a lot of things. The weapon right here of, um, of Fredian. This weapon has been hitting a lot of things as of late. Beautiful nickname, by the way, for the weapon. Um, and we got two of those, and then we also have two specialists that focus on healing. They're completely specialized in healing. But let's go ahead and launch the mission. Look at those badasses. Leaving the Avenger. Plotting to take over those alien resources. <laughs> now, obviously... Yeah, obviously, we can't really lose any of these guys. If you lose any of them... We're gonna be in a terrible position, but the Sky Ranger has reached the mission site and it is awaiting orders. So let's go ahead and begin. Operation Hidden Days. Supply Line Raid. Advent Troop Transport. The goal right here and the objective is to neutralize all enemy targets and to secure the supplies at the transport station. Well, here we go, though. The dudes are ready. Rakian right here in the front, awaiting orders, having his machete actually not on his back at the moment, but... 
We'll just jump in and see what we got. Menace one five. The advent troop transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. I still love the animations in this game. It's so cool. It's so good. All right. So let's have a look where we are actually at right now. Um, I do gonna, I am gonna, like, just so you are aware, okay, if you're one of those people that absolutely hates that, I am gonna be saving quite a lot in this mission, and if I have to, I will be reloading. I'm not playing the Iron Man challenge, so Iron Man basically means that you cannot really go ahead and save in the middle of a mission um, and recover from that point if you need to, because, you know, I just simply, I just simply can't afford to lose any of these guys. So, this map does seem to be rather big. We haven't really seen very much of it at all. Uh, but I guess we'll just start moving forward. So, avoid destroying any critical supplies and neutralize all enemy targets. That's going to be the basic goal. I think I'm just simply going to put these guys on overwatch. It's not like we have, um, you know, we don't really have any kind of, um, you know, really risky scenarios here. It seems like most of these dudes are going to be just fine moving around here. Um, we don't have, like, a limited amount of turns either that we have to worry about. Obviously... You know, sitting a little too close right now to a car can be a bit of a risk, but I'm just gonna dash forward with all of my units here and see what we can get. Now, one important thing to note about all of these, um, about all of these heroes is that uh, they all have different kinds of specializations. So if you haven't seen any kind of XCOM yet, real quick, there's different kinds of specializations available in the game. There's different kinds of moves that I can make with my soldiers in every single turn. And since it's a turn-based strategy, I do have to be relatively careful about what is going on. Now, there are aliens that are plotting to take over the world and they are doing very well so far. But we have to go ahead and stop them. So it looks like there's a bunch of pretty strong ones. This dude does have two armor as well. Alright, so I don't obviously want to be taken out by them at all. So ideally we get a little closer to them. Ideally we do get a little bit closer to them. Where are my snipers at currently? There's one sniper right here with a 360 no scope weapon. He can go ahead and actually shoot all of these dudes. Which actually has a very high chance of just, you know, immediately taking them out. What we will do here is move a bunch of these forward. And then um, shoot with one of the snipers first. So... I'm guessing I want to try and take a, a dead eye on the big dude. Freddy and does have an 87% chance, so I am going to make the first shot with him. The rest of the team, though, has to move forward and sit in Overwatch. And Overwatch basically means that as soon as the enemies detect that I am here, they will start shooting. As soon as they are, you know, seeing enemy movement. So what I'm going to do is move these guys a little bit closer to the battle. Make sure they're, you know, at least in range of them. So this guy is now also in range, put them in Overwatch. Um, move him over here. Make sure he also is in range of shooting at these guys. And he's also in range right here. Put him in Overwatch. And that means that as soon as I take the first shot and the enemies start moving around, which will likely happen, uh, we will immediately be able to start taking a, you know, a couple of free shots at them, which most likely will clean up one or two of them. So sadly, this isn't quite in range yet over here. Um, I believe I have to move over, yeah, Rekian right here as well. We'll move Rekian a little bit closer. He's going to be a frontliner. Do have to make sure, obviously, that he doesn't fall. Alright. Put him on Overwatch as well. Um, two tap is having an 87% chance. So we'll just put him on Overwatch as well and take that 2% extra chance here. There's a 50% chance of us critting right here. And an 87% chance of hitting. As far as the dead eye goes, there's a 66% chance of it hitting, but also a 50% crit chance. I think I want to just take the uh, normal fire route instead, which has a much higher hit rate. And try and take this first shot. Here we go. Okay, nice. Do get a very solid hit. So, obviously, they are now fully aware that we are going to be located here. And they will most likely start moving forward. Okay, here we go. Now I just need you guys to hit. Great. First guy down. Second guy being hit as well. Very heavily on the fire. Ugh, a Locopian seems to be missing here. Also be missing over here. And sadly, that, that didn't quite take out the second one yet. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though, because, you know, we are still going to be able to shoot before they can. We will still have the first move advantage here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they can run around, but I don't think they can shoot in the same turn yet. Although, he can give him a bunch of extra armor to his teammates. That's one of the, uh, one of the new additions uh, that the aliens just now gathered. Is he going to take a shot? Oh, he's going to throw a grenade. That can be bad. 
All right, a little bit of damage on my uh, on my team, but not all too much. Not all too much. This is something we can deal with. We got plenty of life here. Okay, so it's important that we take these dudes out. Very important that we take these dudes out. Now, Rakian has a sword on his back that he can use to almost guarantee himself a kill on that. 72% chance, though, that that very first shot was going to hit, but sadly, it didn't quite make it. I'm going to move with Rakian at the last possible minute. Um, and I'll actually shoot here with the sniper rifle first. Which is a big chance of, um, you know, critting. Do it. Very nice. Yeah, so that shield is a lot. Like, that shield helps out so much with the damage. The damage mitigation. It is gonna remove, or it's gonna, you know, lose the shield at first. Um, I can use the rocket launcher here. Ideally, I don't do it. Ideally, I don't use that rocket launcher for the moment. Just because uh, I don't want to really destroy any kind of loot if I can at all avoid that. Sadly, it looks like that is also going to be a miss. And, ugh. Not too great, not too great. Now, we can move forward with our guys as well. We can just simply move forward and start upping the chances of us hitting. I'm gonna move... I'm actually gonna be moving Rakian first. Just because that corner that he's sitting in is really good. So if we go that way and just simply hit the officer, I think we should be in a good spot. Do it, Rakian. Very nice, very nice. Let's shred through that armor like it's butter. And that means that we can use the rest of the team to take out this final this final opponent, at least for the moment. And he actually earned a promotion from that. That's huge. That's very nice. All right. Uh, we'll put him behind this tree. I don't actually know where the other enemies are going to be coming from, so I'm just going to assume that that is a good spot. Um, that means that we can move over with the rest of the team. And, um, well, actually, this isn't even that great of a spot for them. I was going to say, like, we can move over with the rest of the team and potentially take them out. I can take the guaranteed way as well of launching the frag grenade, or actually... Nah, we're just gonna move it forward. Ideally, um, ideally I take this dude out right now. 68% chance to hit, which is a very big one. There we go. Uh, sadly, he doesn't make that either. That is very unfortunate. And it will basically, it will basically force me right now to not use my heals either. Alright then. Well, you better be taking this one, right? You better be taking this one. 73% chance. Come on, Loco. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright. So, ideally, in this next round, I'm gonna do a bit of healing. I'm gonna, like, sit back for just a second and heal up if I can. Now, obviously, there's still gonna be more aliens in this in this mode as well. Alright, yeah. So, it looks like we're in a good place. Uh, where is my healers? We got a couple of them. I'll move the, I'll move the, um, the, the snipers forward first. Make sure they're, like, in the best position. And then go ahead and reload with them. Oftentimes I find myself... Oh, they actually have a free reload? Alright. Oftentimes I find myself running out of... Um, out of bullets in the middle of a fight. And I think that is because I just simply don't take enough time... Um, to... Uh, you know, to reload before the next fight happens. There we go. Let me go ahead and reload on that too. Very good. Now the six, uh, the six soldiers in one team does make a pretty big, uh, big difference as far as the... Um, as far as the um, time it takes to actually finish up all these turns. So we'll go ahead and just reload on all of them. And there's no good reason not to reload here. Just taking it super safe. Um, this is one of the healers here. So I'm going to go ahead and reload. And then use the gremlin heal to heal up whoever needs it. Um, she lost three health. He lost two health. The other one lost one. So I'll go ahead and try... And heal him up back to full here. Okay, very good. So that gremlin is gonna fly forward and heal her back up to full. And I guess I don't want to spread them out too far. But I guess I'm just gonna sit right here and reload on him as well. Oh, he gets a free reload? Alright, that's fine then. I only have one gremlin heal on him though, so I'd rather I'd rather just put him in overwatch for the moment. Move him forward slightly and then get a free. Actually, I don't need the free reload then. Overwatch. Alright. So, nice. We're in a good spot now. We're in a good spot. I want to make sure I start moving onwards, though. We have to neutralize more enemies. There's a very good high ground over here that I can most likely make use of. Uh, I'm not completely sure where the critical supplies are going to be located. Alright, so I've moved my guys over slowly but surely to watch this rock formation here. And I think it is time to start moving the very first one up this ledge. So this house could be could be pretty bad. Guess we'll just go. Alright, right, here we go. Let's hope we can find not too many enemies here. <sighs> Looks like it's safe, at least for the moment. 
There seems to be some sort of signal going off from the top of this building, although I'm not sure if that's that big of a deal for the moment. I'm just gonna start edging forward here. Alright. Sprinting is a little little risky. Ooh. Okay. So apparently enemies are over there. That's fine. Ooh, that's a muton. Ugh! Well, everyone was on Overwatch, so we may as well start shooting. I sadly don't have my snipers on the high ground yet. Ideally, I would have gotten that first, but so far it looks to be that RNG is on our side. We get some some extra fire as well, but sadly doesn't quite get the second hit off. Oh man, all my guys are on Overwatch though. <laughs> it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close right there. Wait, what happened? Oh, huh? The mutant corpse actually dropped? <laughs> that was a little bit of a weird animation there. There are some minor bugs sometimes in the game. Because right now it doesn't even look like they're actually shooting at the uh, at the enemy. But it looks like they moved forward and all of my guys just basically murdered all of it. That was kind of funny looking though. Okay, so we can break through his armor. Uh, he does have two armor on that. What I can use is my rocket launcher here. To blast away, I don't want to blow up this corpse because it would mess things up a little. To blast away the coffer that he's on, but also to make sure that we blast away that armor, making it a little easier uh, for the team to uh, to get uh, get the kill here. And obviously, we'll do some damage too. So one of the armor is shredded right now, which is good. Ideally, I get my my snipers on the high ground next. So I'm gonna shoot with those guys last if I cannot avoid it. Snipers on the high ground does make it way easier. Ba they basically get like a massive high ground advantage. 73% chance. He's completely out in the open now. Get him. Do it. Come on, man. That was easy. That was an easy shot. I could have taken that one. Not even close. Yeah, not even close, Rushy Turu. I'm disappointed. Okay. Here I come. Okay. A Locopian with his weapon known as Zerk Rush. Should be able to do this, right? Zerk rushes Imba. There we go. Beautiful. Great hits. Okay, great. How many is that now? <laughs> How many is that now? I believe he's from Scotland. Uh, that's alright, though. We'll go ahead and move these guys over. Copy that. So these are the snipers. These are the snipers. I want to be infiltrating the building right there in the top left corner. But for the moment, I think it's best for us to just get the snipers on the high ground. And once again, take like a, a reload round. So far, so good. Nobody's really gotten hurt, like, properly yet. And we have dealt with plenty of the enemy forces. So that's nice for us. Uh, looks like the map is ending right here. There could technically be enemies over in this area, but I highly doubt it. I mean, they probably would have been triggered already. So I'll move forward here. I'll move forward. And we'll do a... Well, I don't want to reload then. Free reloads are pointless. Alright. Very good. So, snipers... I want you guys to be as far to this edge as possible. Heading out. Or well, at least like, you know, if you can get coffered by a massive cactus, we'll take that too. On Overwatch. Um, but at least like before my other troops go in, I want to have, sh want to make sure that these guys are on Overwatch so they get some free pop shots in. Um, now, like I mentioned, the first like the first rounds of Overwatch, or like the if you move with the sniper and then put them on Overwatch, they basically lose that additional, um, that additional. Um, Sniper shot, but they shoot with a uh, with a uh, pistol instead, which is not nearly as high in damage, obviously. But I think this is a good moment to uh, to start inching our way forward. On we'll take this building out from this area to the bottom left. I think. I'm not sure how many enemies are remaining. So far, we're nailing this mission, though, so I'm pretty happy with that. We'll do another reload here on the primary weapon of Rashid Chiru as well, the healer of the bunch. Hasn't really been needing to heal very much yet. And, um, Alocopian, I guess you can take the back line. I guess you can take the back line, and just because we can, let's do a reload on you too. Alright, very nice! Very, very nice. Now, keep in mind, it says avoid destroying a critical supply, which means that we can't just throw around grenades like mad. I don't exactly know where those critical supplies are going to be located, but I can assume it's over in this area somewhere. And we do need to make sure we uh, we grab those. Oh, here we go. 
father dealt with. <gasps> that is a new type of monster I've never seen before. Whoa, what is that thing? Alright, my snipers are currently in position to do this. Oh my god. You're almost shooting your friend there, man. Watch out. I have no idea what that thing does. My snipers are on the high ground trying to deal with this, but I guess they're not quite in range yet. I moved one of my soldiers a little too far forward, trying to inch my way closer, but I got... I got a little restless, I suppose. Sadly, I can't throw... A, I can't go ahead and just simply throw a smoke grenade here. The smoke grenade will get rid of... Um, or will give him some extra sustain. That will allow him to retreat for the moment. Here we go. That's good. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. This will give him some extra extra living. Some extra living. Some extra sustain. I have no idea what that monster was, though. Never seen that before. So everyone is on Overwatch at the moment. Okay. What is this thing? Let's just shoot it. I think it's better to just shoot it. Get him! Oh, nice hit right there. Six damage. Better than nothing. Rekian also on the low ground here. An additional six damage to that thing. Fredian on the high ground. Three damage. Oh, he did dodge it sadly. But he's not he's not quite dead yet. Battle Frenzy. What does that do? It's attacking us. Whoa! Whoa, it hit for ten? Oh, there was a critical hit though. There's also a sectoid right there in the back. That sectoid is really annoying. Oh, he's gonna try and is he gonna mind control or what's he gonna do? Try and make him paranoid? Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's just a panic. Panic is probably the best one we could have hoped for. There is another sectoid though. Oh man, this could be horribly wrong. This could be horribly wrong here. Yeah, sadly one of them is going to be panicked here. He's gonna start firing shots and actually a nice hit. That helps out a lot. Okay, what is he gonna do? He can't really conjure anyone yet, so that's good. Did he miss? I don't think they can miss. They don't seem to miss. Oh, he is gonna conjure. And reanimate another body there. That is the, uh... That is the, uh, the guy we saw earlier. Alright then. So sadly... Sadly, one of our guys is in a bit of a, a, an annoying scenario. I do want to make sure I heal up at least one of them. We can move him forward slightly. But the thing is, this is actually the guy that also has the healing. Ninety percent chance of hitting that thing. Well, that thing I doesn't. I don't really need to shoot. I do kind of. It's a sixty-three percent chance. The fact of the matter is that I do want to do a research on that body if I can, and if I destroy it, I'm also destroying loot. 63% chance is gonna miss, sadly. What is that thing? Ugh. Okay, maybe, maybe two tap here. Maybe two tap here. Ideally, I use two tap though on like one of the sectoids. That's an 85% chance on that sectoid, which will probably remove the panic off of my teammate too. 53% chance on him. I can't move him forward? We just have to make sure we take out this sectoid here. If we take out that sectoid, everything is good. Everything is fine. But I want to make sure that big guy is down first. So it's a bit of a priority problem that we've got. We can just throw a grenade. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna not take the risk. I'm just gonna not take the risk and just destroy him this way. Otherwise, otherwise we are in trouble. This is gonna destroy some of the loot, sadly, but at least that big dude is gone. I don't know if it will destroy the loot. Maybe we can still do the research on it. Okay, two tap. 85% chance of killing that sectoid there, which will then also get rid of that reanimated body. Okay, that hit was really important there. That hit was real important. Good. Okay, that should also get rid of that reanimated body. And the panic has now been removed, and she got an extra ability. That's huge. Wait, was it actually the other one? Or maybe something's wrong with this one. Maybe that zombie actually... Huh. That's unfortunate. How many guys do I have left to fire with? 
Um, well, Rakian can get the guaranteed kill on him. All right, all right, we'll just we'll just reload here. I did lose one of my turns because of this. I want to make sure I heal though. I want to make sure I heal. So here's what we do: we slash that thing down, which is a guaranteed kill. Won't cause Rakian a thing. Very good. Which puts him in a bit of a vulnerable position, but it will allow us to... Oh god, there's... Oh, there's another couple. Oh, this could go bad. Oh man, two vipers and one of those things? Well, this is bad. Um, I can just sit in the smoke here as well with him. Which is probably making it... You know, a little bit better for us. But I need to move backwards with him. And make sure we can heal. Like, I need to heal with him. I cannot take the risk here of losing him. Okay, Gremlin heal on self. It's only gonna heal for four, though. It's not the greatest. I haven't been able to upgrade that thing yet. Oh, it's actually for five. Okay, that's pretty good. This is the scary turn here. This is where things could go poorly. Okay, just gonna panic him as well. Yep. That is gonna make him skip a turn, so I'm glad I just healed him up. Whoa, what is that ability? They move so weird. No, 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 don't do that! That's a risk, dude! You're on- you're in a super vulnerable place! Whoa! Bro! Why would you sh why would you do that? You just hit your friends! Alright, Rashichiru, if you die right now, that's it for you. I have no idea what just happened. Alright, Viper, please don't grab any of my friends. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, not a miss. He's gonna wrap him. Oh, God. And there's another one as well. Okay, he's on Overwatch. He's on Overwatch. Um, apparently, he's burning or something. A lot of my guys can't even move. The only problem is that he is right now on Overwatch, which will mean that he will shoot as soon as I move. But I don't think I can afford not moving. 60% chance to hit him out of the sky. That is nowhere near enough to kill him. 65% chance to hit him, which will remove that Overwatch. 79% chance to, to kill that thing. I think that's better. Okay, please kill him. Oh man, no. The 79% chance missed? Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. Oh, it does actually- it is actually enough to, uh... To go ahead and, uh, and unwrap Freddy on here. Alright. 57% chance to take this one? How is that a 57% chance? How is it easier to hit that thing in the sky? The Archon. Wow, it's an Archon? Okay, at least kill him. How did you miss that shot, Fredian? What? What? You literally had the sniper in his throat. How'd you manage to do that? Alright then. So he's most likely gonna get a shot. He's probably gonna get hit here. I don't know what this fire thing from above is, yeah. Here's the here's the here's the Viper shot. It is a miss. Good. I think I want to take out the sectoid first, right? Although, I do have to move my other guys around too. I do want to ideally kill that sectoid at the very least. I don't know what the Archon is doing up there above, but Rushdy Chiru. I mean, he's panicked. He threw stuff at his friend. We can't slash with him. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Do it. Do it. Boom! Beautiful. Sectoid? Nice ass, but you're dead. Great. Now we just have to take out that other Viper and whatever that Archon thing is doing up in the sky. Alright, Panic has been removed out of him, so that's good at least. He does get another turn here because he is indeed... Um, 
He is indeed uh, specialized in uh, in taking kills like that. Okay, I just want to kill that Viper, ideally. 63% chance of killing that Viper. Alright, we'll have to take the risk. Please? Of 36, rather. 36% chance hit him. Nice. Oh, that's very good for us. That means I can simply just... Move real close to this Viper with him. And guarantee the kill. I don't want to once again use that ability. And I want to get out of those beams, whatever they do. Okay. Well, I mean, this should be an easy hit, right? 92% chance. Come on. Nice. I see a lot of Viper blood. That means that things are dead. Good. We actually get some free loot from it as well, it looks like. Sweet. We get an Alarium Core? Nice. That's good. Those are pretty rare. Okay, so whatever that Archon is up above, I think it's the final target here. We'll see what he does. Whoa! That's sick, actually. Alright, luckily Rashichiru didn't die there. Although he may right now. Ooh, Rashichiru! How did you miss that? Wow! Okay. Yeah, I I still don't know how you are alive there. I, I have no idea how you are still alive. I completely forgot about that Viper. Rush it to I probably would have let him die just because he, he like he like basically like betrayed his friends, right? You can't just betray your friends. Okay. Here's what we need though. We need to once again unwrap that. 79% chance. Come on, do it. Easy easy peasy shot. Very good. That means that that wrap is gone. Target neutralized. Target neutralized indeed. I would say uh, she's the real hero of this of this party so far. Can she throw a grenade here as well? She can. I'm just a little worried that it will hit our friend too. So I'll I'll like do that as like a last resort. If we if we don't get the kill right here. Okay, let me move forward here and shoot with the pistol. Get any damage done on that Archon because that Archon has a lot of life. A lot of life. Battle Frenzy? I have no idea what that does. Don't think I want to know either. Okay. We'll start moving forward with him. So apparently you have one turn to try and kill that dude. Otherwise he's going to do like all kinds of, you know, fireworks from the skies. I guess you have one turn to like guarantee the shoot down. Here we go. Very good. Very, very good. Oh man. I have no idea what Battle Frenzy does. It seems to like give him additional damage or whatever. Rekian! Oh, Rekian obviously I just has to slice! Just slash him! Just slash him to death! 98% chance! That doesn't miss. Nice! Alright, is that the mission? I secretly hope it was, because that was actually a pretty rough one here. No one died. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Alright, so six of my soldiers are wounded. I think that includes all of them. <laughs> uh, it took us 13 turns. We have killed all of the enemies. And the rating of this mission is excellent. None of us are really critically wounded other than my friend there. I think I should have actually healed him up first, but... Alright, so dealt the most damage once again. Captain Rekian, who got a promotion right now. Which may be very well my first, like, I don't even know what comes next in this game. Is it Mayor? Could very well be the, like, Major, Major, um, Rekian here. Uh, then we also have made the most moves, I think is what it said. Oh no, most attacks. It started Motlessis. Most under fire, Fredian. Yeah, he was wrapped a bunch of times. And then moved the furthest, also Rekian, just because he obviously, you know, he basically just, uh, he just basically kept moving forward, slicing someone down, and then getting the kill on it. Um... There he is, by the way, the badass, but let's continue onwards. Return to base. Now, a bunch of these guys are gonna be wounded. It may take a couple days for us to, you know, recover from this mission, but I think it was a successful one. Pretty good. Yep, yep. Everyone's wounded. Lightly wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, 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 wounded. Okay, you get the point. So everyone here is uh, a little fucked, a little, a little messed up from this mission, but it's all right. So first up, Captain Rekian, aka Bustle, you are now a major. 
Nice. Major Rekian. Honestly, like, Rekian is one of the moderators on Twitch in the live stream. He's been around for forever, and every single time I name a character after him, for some reason, he is an absolute badass. Like, he is he's nailing all of the missions. He's doing extremely well on all of them. I don't know why. But anyway. Alright, we have two new abilities that I've never seen before. First off, we can choose either Decopper or we can play Untouchable. So I can only choose one of those. If you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Okay. Or Untouchable. If you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. But I think Deep Cover makes a little more sense, right? Because I, I put him on Overwatch all the time. Although Untouchable also is pretty good, because he's basically gonna never take hits. I mean, this will guarantee him not dying, pretty much, right? That's a good option. That's a good option right here. Um, I don't know what the final ones are gonna be, but I think for the moment, we'll just go ahead and pick Deep Cover, just because it has, like, you know, a, a, water, uh, a wider... Wider amount of uses, like, uh, there's a bigger amount of uses for that. And we also have, um, Motlesis right here that did get promoted to become a lieutenant. He can either have holo targeting or heavy ordnance. Um, the grenade in your grenade only slot gains a bonus use. Alright. And holo targeting. Any directed cannon shot hit or miss will mark the target, increasing your squad's aim by 15%, uh, or by 15 against this target. Alright, we're gonna go with that one. I don't actually use my grenades all too often on him. In particular when I uh, have the grenade launcher with him, right? And we also have Lieutenant Loki Locopian here, who can now become a field medic. I like that one a lot better than the other one. Alright, so everyone's wounded. Everyone's a little messed up from that. But we have got what we came for. I do have the Archon Corpse here as well. Beneath its elegant exterior, the Archon is surprisingly haphazard combination of flesh and metal. Sweet, we got a lot of supplies there as well. Very, very good. Okay, so we now have unlocked the research on the Archon. An aesthetically impressive specimen, the hidden horrors of melding organic tissue with the inner workings of a machine are well disguised. The unique melee weapon employed by the creature could be of particular interest to our rangers, to Rekian. Alright, we may be able to do like an autopsy on him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that, because everyone's wounded, right? Oh, he's got reduced will, Motless is? Oh, man. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. We are in a little bit of a of a dire scenario with that, and we aren't in the greatest shape. But that's pretty good for us. So, we are currently researching Illyrium, which is going to take an additional four days. And we also have some more things going on here that we can use. Let me see if anyone is still... No, everyone's already working. So I wanna I wanted to research something real quick. We currently have 189 supplies that we can go ahead and use here on researching a couple things. So I have a, I have a few good options. First off, I can build an item. So I can uh, build the advanced grenade launcher, which will likely help out a lot. I've had a chance to take a close um, which is which is gonna be useful. I can also go into no not that one. I can also go into um, the um, the guerrilla tactics school here. And research a new combat tactic, so I can go ahead and get any of those, which is very nice. Soldiers will be more likely to bleed out than to die out, right? All right. Hmm. Plus 25% extra experience gained from kills. That's huge. I probably should have gotten that way sooner into the game. Yeah, there's a lot of great things you can do here. The problem is that I do need to go ahead and get like a upgrade on my resistance comms. But I don't currently have the amount of supply or like power necessary to do so. Um, and because of that, I'm thinking of prioritizing the uh, the uh, the upgrade right here on the power relay instead, which is pretty expensive. But I can also just build another one. We'll see. I'm not going to spend anything, at least for the moment. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did and you would like me to make more, make sure you press that like button down below. And let me know down below what you would really like to see. Did you just want to see me, you know, play another mission? Because I really enjoy playing this game and I would love to share. But maybe there's something in particular you would really like to, you know, see and try and struggle with. Um, and uh, I am currently not aware of it. So please let me know down below what you would really like to see. And other than that, obviously, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day, alright? Do not forget to smile.
and I'll see you in the next one.